all right boys and girls so I just uh, was looking for an excuse to go out for a ride tonight and uh, the reason for that is because I managed to figure out a way of recording two microphones into the GoPro without any external sound recorders or anything like that basically just like it with a Y Y kind of split cable with one with my microphone for in inside my helmet for talking and one microphone mounted next to the intercom speaker so that I can record uh, like a dual motor vlog and so this guy's pretty cool so I uh, got this ping a, a notification from the gorilla biker saying hey I challenge you so I was like well holy shit I'm looking for a reason to go out and test this microphone setup so why don't I go out and record the challenge so that's what I'm doing so uh, the challenge was or is uh, what era would you have liked to like to have been born in so let me put this song on and you'll probably be able to guess so for me it has absolutely nothing to do with bikes uh, so I know Mr. Gorilla was talking about all the CB750s and all the cool bikes that are around in the 70s But for me, it's got absolutely nothing to do with bikes at all. It's a uh, It's just music So if I could choose an era to be born, it would be post World War Two. So maybe even like uh, 1945 I guess would be ideal so that by the time it was 1965 I'd be about 20 years old in the middle of like the summer of love man and all the cool shit that happened in the 60s all the amazing rock like early 60s late 70s uh, late 60s early 70s rock I just fucking love it I like modern music too but I mean that era just blows my mind like um, my favorite is The Doors like you know Led Zeppelin there's so many cool bands around in the 60s that I, that's where I would want to be without without doubt I would love to have lived through the 60s all the all the free love all the uh, naughty other things the illegal things that are now completely illegal and frowned upon and the goddamn music now there's not many bikes in the 60s that I like but I would say it, I wouldn't obviously I wouldn't be in Japan in that era I'd be in the States in California or somewhere like that so you know an easy rider style bike you know something like what like what Dennis Hopper was riding in easy rider movie I could live with that that'd be pretty cool not one of those big stupid long fork kind of things but yeah you know like a, a flathead Harley or something like that would be where I'd be at cars as well like 67 Mustang one of my favorite cars have to get myself a cobalt cobalt blue 67 mustang it, i mean for me that's like the epitome of cool that generation that era is just fucking cool so yeah if i had some ability to be born in the past i would be born around like middle middle of the 40s maybe a baby boomer i suppose so yeah that's where i'm at so uh, I don't really have anyone to nominate because that greedy bastard gorilla biker nominated bloody the whole the whole universe, the whole, the whole of YouTube. He invited so uh, people that I would like to hear from actually are the two sort of people that I've recently subscribed to that he already mentioned. Two two guys in the same place in the same city in Australia. You know who you are. So yeah, obviously uh, I know you guys are into music, so I like to know if uh, your choice would be based upon music and culture or based upon what cool cars and bikes and stuff are available at that time I mean uh, yeah for me it's the music and the culture of the time that that's that's you know sort of got me got me interested in the time that I'm uh, talking about absolutely nothing to do with bikes so uh, yeah I think anyway I wouldn't be able to ride bikes I'll be too busy having sex with all the hippie chicks and getting high on drugs and going to concerts so I wouldn't have enough time to ride a bike anyway I can do that now instead so yeah and uh, as we're heading as I'm downtown now I might as well just give you a quick tour of the city because it, it is pretty much dead now 
It's a uh, Friday night at 10:40 p.m. So it should be should be ridiculously busy. But um, yeah, this is the the main the main drag of the city. Like the uh, the main station is just here on the left. See those two two big towers. That's the JR Towers, JR being JR, uh, Japan Rail. So that's basically the center of the city. That's where everyone comes and goes from. And uh, yeah, there's just nobody here. Shitloads of taxis still and stuff like that, but I'll uh, take you for a quick tour through uh, the downtown area and show you like all the bars and restaurants and stuff are all closed. So it's getting to the point where the Japanese are actually taking it seriously but not as serious as I would hope um, I was in the park today with my daughter and uh, basically we were trying to find a park that didn't have many people in because you know we're trying to avoid that whole that whole contact with people but uh, yeah there was people having bar um, not barbecues having picnics loads of like couples playing badminton and playing football and shit in the park and I would say at least half of those people weren't wearing masks so yeah that the people themselves the general public are not particularly taking it too seriously yeah this is a new building as well that was put up about a year ago maybe that's actually where my uh, bank is the actual like um, what's it content in English the uh, Fuck, I've forgotten English, man. The main office. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this area is generally fucking busy, and this is Friday night. So, say two or three months ago, there would be like 10,000 people here right now, I reckon. There's loads of pubs and like um, izakayas, like Japanese style uh, bars and stuff around here. It's basically like well, I think every, every city's like that, isn't it? Like a main station, there's party places all nearby. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's just dead. But anyway, let's continue onwards and I'll show you what uh, the rest of the closed down city looks like. Uh, holy fucking shit. I had to turn the music off and just turn around and show you this fucking cool ass old Benz. You know, I was talking about the 60s, like, look at that thing. That is cool. Yeah, boy. I got a big fat mama trying to break me. But uh, yeah, this place too. This is uh, Osu, Osu Cannon, which is like um, kind of like an indoor market sort of place, which also has a lot of cool little bars and stuff. I'm actually tempted to ride into it tonight because I'm pretty sure there'll be no one fucking to tell me off. We'll see putting it on YouTube isn't the smartest thing to do but yeah I mean like all this this should be all lit up still like these shops stay open really late there's a shop there what's that a lab don't know what the fuck that is there's a clothes shop that's still open Union Jacks on the on the sign and uh, yeah the actual walkway like the indoor marketplace is uh, just here on the left so we'll have a sneaky look inside I guess so you're not supposed to come in here but but yeah this is what an indoor market looks like in Japan that's a restaurant that I go to sometimes it's nice but yeah as you can see there's no um, nothing open but yeah normally this place is uh, is full of people patrons Anyway, I'm going to stop here for a quick ciggy and I'll see you guys on the way home. So yeah guys, that's basically, uh, my reply is the 60s for sure. And my little tour, there's a bar open, my little tour of the city, my, what do you call it? I'm like, I'm policing, I'm policing the Japanese to make sure that they're taking Corona-chan seriously. That's my name for it by the way, not coronavirus or COVID-19, it's Corona-chan. So Corona-chan. Be careful everyone. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing some people's uh, replies or responses to this. Specifically Mr. Webb and Mr. How the hell do you say it? Hachui, ha, ha, hachui, hachui. Yeah, that guy. You know who you are. Mr. Mr. Cover Led Zeppelin cover 
like freaking awesome covers so I'm sure he, maybe he's gonna say music too but uh, yeah I'll be interested to see the response but uh, yeah I'm, uh, I'm off home now so so I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye for now these motherfuckers are obviously drunk yep that's a drunk motherfucker right there hey drunk man <laughs> Oh no, put my feet down, that's not cool. It's not a cool stop you when you have to put your feet down. <laughs>